Great. So now once we have our login working, in, um, let's uh, create a dashboard. Let's, this is going to be a copy of our uh, PHP file, index PHP file. So let's copy and paste it. Let's rename it to dashboard PHP. Oh, it's already PHP. Perfect. And now we want to get rid of this, uh, let's say, this form, which we don't need here. And let's just put or leave uh, here uh, dashboard. Okay, so again, admin at email.com, secret, sign in, dash, board. Okay, would be probably easier if the name was correct. And now we are into uh, dashboard. So we have a few issues now, which we're gonna solve. First of all, we want to set some, we want to send some message over here that we, um, something like, hey, you have successfully logged in uh, or welcome user X. So this is one issue. The issue is because we will, we know that the user has been logged in in this index PHP file and we have to pass somehow this message uh, to the to the, another file. And second of all is that, you know, now even if I'm uh, not logging, uh, okay, let's do one thing here to show you uh, what's going on. So we set up this session, right? And let's see what's inside this session. So let's do, uh, let's do a small var dump over here. Uh, we're not gonna need this one. Oh, and this is not a very bad practice, it's very good. And actually, we don't gonna need this uh, if over here. So let's just do var dump and then our session. So let's see how this session looks like. So as you can see, we we store this data um, in our uh, session variable. Um, but even though if I open this in the incognito tab, I can still access this one. So we don't want that, right? So we want to secure uh, this just to make sure that we cannot open this page, obviously, if we are not logged in. So for that, we're going to need, uh, first of all, the logout mechanism. Uh, so for, for the logout, what we're going to do is we're going to basically uh, create a new file, which is going to be called logout.php. Uh, so let's create this one now logout php and what we want to do in here is we want to do include uh, our config php so we want to uh, keep the session and we want to do something like session destroy okay and once it's done we want to set our header location to CMS. So we want to redirect our user to our homepage and then we want to just die. And what we're going to do, how we're going to use it, it's very simple because in our header file, what we're going to do, we're going to change this, uh, this um, link over here, one of the links which we have in a dashboard, logout. We were going to change it to uh, logout PHP. And actually, we can also do this dashboard PHP over here. So now, if I go to logout, oh, I need to refresh. Now, if I go to logout, I'm getting redirected to the main page. I can still access dashboard because it's not secured. But as you can see, now our session is empty. So again, we are at home, admin at mail.com, secret, sign in. Now our session is here. We are at dashboard. So we store our session. And if we go to home and dashboard again, the session is kept. However, if we do log out, our session is being clear. Okay. So now we have one issue solved with the, with the logout. Now let's solve this um, security issue. So we want to make sure that this dashboard page is available only for the logged in user. So how are we going to do that? Let's jump into our functions file, which we haven't used yet, but this is the high time start using this. So let's create a function. We're going to call it secure. So what we're going to do if this is going to check if is set our session variable 
and let's say id because we know we are setting this uh, value right and if this is not set so this is why we have this explanation mark here uh, what we're gonna do we will basically do some echo of please log in first to view this page okay and then we're gonna set uh, let's do die now okay and that's gonna be uh, very simple to use because what we have to do here and now and hold on we have some e okay this is the uh, I used the wrong brackets and uh, now it's very easy to use because what we have to do basically on every page which is supposed to be secured we simply add or call this function so we're gonna do secure and let's see what happens now as you can see please log in first to view this page so we are not able to enter this dashboard until unless we're gonna log in and now we can do that so again i'm going to incognito we cannot log in so our page is secured now perfect so this is how you create the secure version and we're gonna add user management to it in a second but before we do that i want to say that in many projects you will not need user management right so you will not have to add extra users uh, but it's important that you can log in right so this is how you can uh, secure your pages and make sure that only people with certain um, credentials can actually log in onto your page cool so let's jump on back to our functions uh, php right now and let's create two more functions which will help us to pass message from um one page to the another so i'm gonna create function set message okay and this will uh, accept a message argument and we're gonna use session to store this uh, message for us so we're gonna have session equal from message equals to our message so this is how we basically store it within the, the message and we need also function to display this message so we're gonna have get a message and this will not accept any values because uh, just showing the output so if is set session of message then what we want to do we want to do echo and then let's do paragraph and concatenate session actually we have it here with paragraph uh, it should be like this and possibly some line okay and once we show it we also want to unset it so we want to get rid of it we want to reset this uh, because uh, we want to show it only one so we have session of i think i had it in my clipboard but okay i, I wrote it mm, and now what happens is we're gonna go to our header we're gonna go to somewhere here below our navigation and we want to just call this get message function here okay and uh, let's go back to our index php we have this to do over there what we want to do here we're gonna call our set message file with message like hello or maybe you have successfully logged in space and then let's concatenate our username okay and let's see if that works i just need to i just need to add semicolon at the end and let's test it out so we go to home admin at uh, mail.com secret sign in and we have you have successfully logged in when i refresh the page this notification is gone cool so let's me clean up this a little bit let's get uh 
let's remove all the var dumps. We don't have any var dump here. Let's go to dashboard. We don't want the session here. Okay. And what we can also do actually is um, since we are logged in, maybe we don't want to show, I mean, for sure we don't want to show this login page anymore. So let's go to index. And basically we're gonna pretty much copy this, uh, this function here. Um, we're gonna just use it slightly different. So uh, let's do, if session ID is set, we want to uh, set our header to location dashboard PHP because obviously there is no point in going back, right? So I can't go to the home until I log out and now I can log in again. And then if I sign in, I'm successfully signing. I'm going to be redirected to the dashboard. And that reminds me about, uh, we can change this one from this to, we can reuse our set message. Okay. And semicolon, of course, at the end. So this is how it looks like. And okay. So log out dashboard. And okay, let's, uh, it doesn't work because we need to set header and we want to re uh, redirect user to our CMS. Okay, semicolon. And now it's working fine.